Okay, so we've got our drivers extracted, we've got our hotfixes downloaded, we've got additional applications downloaded if we want to add them later on. So now let's start putting these all together. So the first thing we need to do is we actually need to go to our D drive, or in my case it's a D drive and yours it will be slightly different, and we'll need to create a folder to extract our Windows disk to, so that we can use it with NT Lite. So That this can be anywhere on your C drive, your D drive, as long as you put permissions straight to it. Even a network drive, although I wouldn't recommend it on a network drive, so it'll slow it down. Just right click, go new folder, and just put slipstream. Call it something like slipstream. Okay. Then what you do is if you go to your Windows ISO that you downloaded previously, you go right click and mount. And you'll see it'll appear as your in my case it's a G drive, in yours it may be the D or E, but whatever. Select all, right click and copy. Go back to the folder that you created. In my case it was D clone slash slipstream and paste that in there. This is just making a copy that we is obviously not locked down in an ISO and we can edit it in order to actually add the additional things that we want into it. Okay, now that that's been extracted, we want to make sure to right click and go to properties and make sure that read only isn't ticked. That's fine, so we can click OK. And that's our folder now extracted, so we can then continue using NT Lite and start slipstreaming all of our updates into it. If you liked this video, give it a like. If you disliked this video, give it a dislike too. If you get feedback in this or any other videos or suggestions for videos you believe we should do in the future, then please let us know in the comments below. And most of all, Thank you for watching.